You can begin on the floor with a support under the knees and a small rolled towel under the back of the neck to lengthen the, uh, to lengthen the neck and provide support. Establish a deep breath. Enjoying being on the floor. This is always just a, a great thing to do for all parts of the spine, including the neck. After this next breath, we'll roll to the left side and take your right arm behind the waist and find a, uh, an appropriate level of stretch for you. The forearm close into the torso and then roll your back onto that, uh, onto that arm and let the shoulder relax to whatever degree. Uh, if you find this is too high or low, make an adjustment. The opposite arm can be uh, relaxed out to the side or in a goal post position. Notice the, uh, if this is enough stretch in the neck area. If it is, you can, you can continue right here. If you'd like just a bit more stretch in the neck, you can revolve your face to the left and uh, let the side of the neck uh, it release a bit more deeply. Here you'll breathe as though you're breathing, um, breathing, softening into the chest, softening into the neck, and let the, uh, enjoy that stretch all the way up to the ear. We'll take one more easy, deep breath, and then to release the arm roll back to your left side. And then roll out the shoulder a bit, um, releasing any tightness. Uh, if you need to really just roll the elbow up and over, that, that sometimes feels really good. A few times each direction. Then we'll come back to center for a breath. Let's roll to the other side now. So we're going to come to the right side and drop your left arm behind the waist or as high or low as it feels, uh, it feels appropriate. Then, uh, keeping the arm tucked in like a little wing, you'll roll back onto the back. And notice the difference between sides. There will always be a little bit of difference here. Uh, and, uh, and again, check the neck. If this is the side that's particularly tight, you may need to keep it in an upright position. Otherwise, roll the face a bit to the right side. And then soften and calm. You could even close eyes here and, and so you can focus a bit more on the breath and the abdomen, the breath, moving into the, into the chest, the shoulder. Good, we'll take about another two breaths. Then, again, to come out, you'll roll to the right, drawing the left arm out from behind the back, and circle and move into the shoulder a bit. Until the shoulder feels relaxed. We'll come back to center for a, uh, a time of relaxation and let the body soften into, uh, into a comfortable space. If you need to uh, uh, make any movements that would help relax, uh, relax the body a bit more, you could even tuck the knees in and hug them for a moment or, or shift the pelvis or whatever would make you the most comfortable. And uh, taking your time, begin that abdominal breath again. Let yourself find a soft, deep, smooth abdominal breath. As you focus on the breath, notice, uh, notice the tone and the texture of your breath. Notice if it's continuous or if there uh, is a lot of pause between the top and the, and the bottom of the breath. And if you uh, find pauses, see if you can relax at those points so that the breath is like a circle. 
top flowing into the bottom and the bottom flowing into the top. You can stay here relaxing and even uh, going through the body, noticing any tension and relaxing more deeply for as long as you wish. <laughs>